Hey everyone, my name is Ildenari, and today I'll be reviewing Malzahar, Prophet of the Void. Malzahar is a damage over time champion, meaning that his spells deal damage over time. Um, unlike some other champions that are burst champions, like Anivia or Annie, that just burst out all of their magic uh, skills and deal enormous damage at per second. So, Malzahar um, is a solo mid carry, meaning that um, he will probably carry your team to the victory. And he is a solo champion, and that is probably his biggest flaw, and why most people say that he is underpowered. Because um, of his abilities, he can be an area of effect champion, but his concentration is on soloing an enemy champion and for that reason he is practically the best solo champion that I know of um, he can take down enemy tanks as well as other enemy glass canyons uh, okay so his passive is summon voidling which summons a little minion that deals uh, physical damage and that grows over time in strength and HP and this Voidling actually is pretty good um, at low levels. Later it just becomes uh, just becomes easy cash for the enemy. But at low levels, um, he can really help you get the kill. For instance, at level six when you do your combo. Um, his so his passive works like this: after four spells, you get the Voidling, and then uh, wh which lasts for around 21 seconds. And um, after like 14 seconds, he goes into frenzy mode, and he gets like really uber power. His Q is Call of the Void. Malzhar opens up two portals of the void. After a short delay, power erupts from item uh, from them, dealing magic damage and silencing all enemies caught between the portals. So this is probably his main. How shall I say this? Well, it is his main nuke that you just cast out to poke, but it's not his main uh, damage output. Um, so after a short delay, it summons um, two portals. So the delay is around one second, one and a half second. I'm not sure, and it kind of is a skill shot. So you have to really time it really well, and this. Uh, it deals a lot of damage because his AP ratio is 0 0.8 per ability power, which is pretty good. And just so you know, Malzahar's AP ratios are off the charts. So this is going to be mainly your poke slash silence enemy skill. His W is Null Zone. Malzahar creates a zone of negative energy for 5 seconds. The zone deals magic damage to enemies that stand in it for a percentage of their max health each second. Um, damage to monsters is capped. So this lasts for 5 seconds. It's a pretty good spell for anti-tanks. Um, you're going to use this one a lot in your combos. Uh, so at later levels you can get up to like 15, 14 um, percent, which is a lot because tank can usually have up to, I mean, up to 5,000, but usually like 3,000 HP. And imagine dealing like 300, 300 damage every second for five seconds. That's like 1.5k health just slashed off, minus their magic resistance. So um, Malzahar's E is Malefic Visions and um, Male Malzahar infects his target's uh, mind dealing magic damage each second for 4 seconds. If the target dies while afflicted by the vision, they pass the curse onto a nearby enemy unit, refreshing the duration and restoring mana to Malzahar. Malzahar's voidlings, uh, voidling uh, uh, are attracted uh, to affected units. So this is going to be your main farming uh, skill. What you do is just press E on an enemy creep uh, and deal physical normal damage to it and when it dies it just transfers to an another enemy minion nearby and then 
another and another so you can really farm up creeps really fast with this and when you get up to like level I think level 10 or something um and you have around 100 AP you can just throw down malefic visions and uh, go away because it can kill an enemy creep with full HP. Um, his ultimate uh, or R is Mal's is uh, Nether Grasp. So Malzahar grips his target in an engulfing void of energy and begins channeling, dealing magic damage every half second while suppressing the target for up to 2.5 seconds. So this is your main nuke, um, apart from Call of the Void. So what you do uh, to, at least what I do, is I throw down Null Zone uh, and Malefic Visions and then like um, press Nether Grasp on the enemy champion. So essentially there are three, um, three spells on him for 2.5 seconds, dealing enormous damage and uh, then uh, Malefic Visions will continue on for another 1.5 seconds or like 1 second. Uh, to kill him and if you don't kill the enemy champion all you do is press Q and skill shot kill him which is actually pretty simple because if you have Riley's crystal scepter he's slowed then you don't really have to time it that well uh, so honestly I I don't know I like him a lot but his solo is too too strong and his like team fight is too too weak. So, for instance, if you're fighting at like level, uh, at like um, at the 50th minute where everyone is practically maxed out, you will get that one kill, but you will get killed essentially. And I don't know if that's just good. I mean, you might not get killed and stuff, but it's still not worth getting killed every team fight. And uh, the enemy just gets one more feed off you and af you have to wait like a minute to respawn which is like I don't know it's just not worth it in ranked games but um, in solo games solo queue why not you know he's a fun champion to play with um, so the items that I buy for him are first I get um, Doran's ring for the for the regen and AP at the start um, after that I try to get boots as fast as I can because speed is really really essential with Malzhar if you want to get that gank off or if you want to run away or you know even engage at your own uh, lane uh, enemy champion then after I get boots I go for um, for mm, Meiji Soul Stealer I'm not sure how to pronounce it um, Mejia Soul Stealer and um, I tried to stack that up as fast as I can, like gank a lot and, um, you know, just don't die. And if you get like 10 uh, stacks, that'll be like enormous AP at the beginning. Um, and, you know, it'll just become easier and easier to kill enemies. And they'll think at the beginning that you don't, you're you not that good, you know, Malzhar who plays him. And then like when you kill him in like 2.5 seconds, he's like, whoa. Um, after that, I go for Ray Rayleigh's, Riley's Crystal Scepter um, for the slow and extra AP and HP. Um, the slow is actually really useful, as I said, because of Call of the Void for that skill shot uh, nuke just to finish off the enemy. And um, after Rayleigh's, I go for Death Cap because I, I got enough HP about then plus the 500 with Rayleigh's so I just go with death cap and um, I stack up my AP because death cap gives you I think like 150 AP plus 35% of your total AP and after death cap I either go for um, for rod of ages or um, e against the enemy just get um, Void Staff uh, because of that magic penetration. It's like really, really good. And um, so, yeah, that's practically how I play Malzahar. Um, I don't know, uh, I'm not that good at all in League of Legends anyway, so uh, feel free to comment on, um, on my guide. 
this wasn't really a first look, was it? It was more of a guide. Ah, whatever. I'll sla I say first look slash guide. Okay. So, um, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, uh, subscribe. If you didn't, just go and check out some other videos I make and subscribe to them. Or don't, um, if you like them. I don't know. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.